Good day, everyone. My name is Maria Kondzielska, and this is Poland Daily Culture. We have in studio with us one of the most talented young Polish vocalists, ladies and gentlemen, Marta Zalewska. Happy to be here. She sings, plays a guitar and violin, and recently published her debutant album. But before we dig up all Marta's music secrets, let's listen to one of her songs. So, are you nervous? How many interviews in English have you already given? Well, actually, uh, just one. I, have a, I had already given just one, and it was for LA Talk Radio, based in Los Angeles. Um, and there, it was difficult not only because of the language, <laughs> but also because of the hour. I had to set my alarm in the middle of the night, so it could wake me up to give an interview. And also it was through phone, so I couldn't see the host. That was also um, a bit difficult. But uh, today I'm not nervous, rather excited. I'm very happy to have you here, especially to listen to your album. And I would like to start with a topic of It Will Be Loud, the program organized by Polish Radio Czwórka, which is targeted for young Polish musicians to give them the chance of, to find our way on music stage. And you won the second edition, so it's a huge success. But how did you get into this program? I've been a session musician, session musician uh, all my life, I could say. Uh, but last year was a breakthrough. I've been composing since I was a child, but uh, I wasn't maybe ready or I didn't have the courage to, to share this music with the uh, general public before last year, and last year I've decided that I would like to release my music. And then I found this announcement that Polish radio uh, was looking for new artists, and I decided to, to try to get my chances. And um, what was really interesting about this competition, they required to, to get accepted, you had to send the whole CD material, the whole album, ready to, to be released. So it has to, had to be not only recorded, but also mixed and mastered. Uh, and ready, ready to, to so be on, on the CD. it's extremely difficult. How many young Polish, altogether young musicians already have prepared the whole album. It's really high barrel, yes, which so they stand. You have to be prepared what you, what, what you want to, to bring to people. Uh, and I was lucky that I had then, back then, I had the material ready, uh, so I sent it and I've managed to win, so that was surprising and Okay, but not that quickly. There are around 200 uh, participants and basically I know so many young people who want to be on a Polish musician stage, but they cannot find their way. So what was the process? You sent the album, Mm, do they work with you somehow? Do they give you any hints later? Mm. They just, it's a kind of way that you send it and you're waiting, did I won or did I didn't win? Or they talk with you, they listen to you live maybe, they invite you to studio. What is the process? I have sent the material and then I've waited and waited and waited, uh, like a few months or so, two months, I, I guess. Um, What's interesting, uh, again, Polish radio did not tell me anything about changing the material or, you know, getting rid of some tracks, changing them. No, they just accepted as it was. And I'm really glad because that's not very 
often situation nowadays with music labels. They always tell Change you things, what to yeah. do, actually. <laughs> Shape you to their own standards. Yes, and Polish radio gives freedom, so that's cool. So I understand that Czwórka is also targeted for young people and targeted for young music which is off stage or not in the mainstream. Um, and I know that Damian Sikorski, who is one of the organizers of this competition, actually listens to all the musics and he was gobsmacked with your music. And But I understand that the competition was so hard that they also recorded later an additional CD for people who they valued but not enough to win. And are, are your tracks on the CD as well? Yes, my single opens the album, uh, which uh, which is actually the <laughs> very, very interesting uh, mix of various artists that took part in Benji Głośno, It Will Be Loud competition. Do you think that such competitions and such initiatives actually help people and how it is, how it is to get through in, in Poland? Because in comparison to a British or even French music stage, a uh, Polish young musician stage is a bit humble and we don't have so many jam sessions and this, also this environment doesn't invite and doesn't give chance to so many people. It's really hard to get through. We have Daria Zawiało and Podsiadło, so few, like, okay, few people who are there, but I mean, it's not, it's not enough. We, l we listen to young people from Great Britain, but we don't listen to that many young people from Poland. How do you think we can change it and how such program changes it? I'm not sure. <laughs> do I know the answer for, for the very last question, how to change it? But of course, I'm trying myself, making my own music, uh, of course. Mm, I think such actions like, like the competition, the Benji Głośno, It Will Be Loud competition, it is needed because, uh, as I said, this very competition gives freedom. And uh, we have so many talent shows nowadays here in Poland too. And I was never interested in taking part in such uh, things because I know <laughs> talent shows got scenarios. It's, you know, so many aspects outside the music. And I'm interested only in music and in truth and in art. And nothing else interests me. So, so that's why I had to take part in something else than TV <laughs> talent show. Such radio contests, I think, I find them really, really, really attractive because it's only about music. You don't even see me. <laughs> of course, later on you can uh, on, in my video uh, clips. But um, yes, I think uh, such such initiatives are needed, and I'm glad that um, there is Damian Sikorski, who really gives his life to young artists. That's that's really fantastic. So when they accepted your album, did it, did you need it to record it once again with them in their studios, or they? They just took your material and accepted it and said, okay, fine, we will record it ourselves or we will just reprint it and distribute it. How was the, pro how the process looked like? They accepted it the way I sent it. Uh, it was already recorded at the best studios I could uh, afford. <laughs> and uh, I worked on any de every detail, hardly. So they accepted the version I gave them and as I said, it's amazing that I was free. I was free uh, with, with my music and nobody told me anything about what to change. They only su suggested what could be the first single, the second, but that's, that's fine. And I'm happy to, to hear any suggestions in that topic, but you know, nobody gave me other compositions or something uh, after uh, I won, so. That's me, the album is, is totally me. Great, that's actually, I've, I haven't heard about such a program ever before, but how did it change your life or did it change your life in any way? That uh, it did open new doors to, to other things, to other undertakings? Yes, it did change my life, of course. Uh, as said before that uh, I've been a session musician all my musical life before uh, and it was really inspiring and influencing me 
in many ways, of course, I'm very glad uh, for that experience, but uh, I felt deep in my heart that I want to, to go there and sing myself and my heart out, tell people about mm, my experience and just make my own music. So after the album mm, has been released, well, <laughs> it, it changed a lot because now I'm not only a session musician that stands in the second row and supports a great artist in the front. I'm the front myself. <laughs> so, so suddenly people call you and tell you, okay, Marta, come, come to, to play and sing for us, or here is an invitation for a concert, or take part in this, or we would like you in our program, or how does it look like? Is it like this really, that you, you got invitations from our music festivals or anything like this? Yes, I do. Of course, uh, it's a process. Uh, I'm not finished in anything, you know, that's, that's the first album. It just already begun it's it's just begun i think there is a lot of work ahead of me and uh, i'm just or maybe we'll talk about it later but i'm preparing the second album and of course i'm i'm going to festivals soon and i've been to menske Grania, for example which is one of the biggest festivals in poland that's because i've uh, i was one of the winners of uh, menske Grania young competition another great uh, action so yes yes a lot of things are com is coming and, and, and I'm really looking forward into them. It's great and we keep our fingers crossed Thanks. and I hope the viewers of Poland Daily also will look up what is Benji Gwarzna It Will Be Love contest and maybe some of them would like to participate.